Hi everybody, back here at the machine shop and today I have a plumbing update for you. The plan is to relocate the bathroom from where it was back in that corner. I'll throw in some uh, footage here of Wyatt and I destroying the old bathroom. It was disgusting. Uh, and I'm gonna move it up to the front of the building over there. To move a bathroom, you have to move a few things. You have to move sewer, you have to move water, and um, you have to build the bathroom. You have to do the walls, the fixtures, toilet, all that sort of thing. Thanks to Lynn Horn, uh, a local plumber, she is a badass. What she did was put her fancy camera down where, down in the sewer where the toilet was and ran it. You know, I dug this hole out here to see where it goes and I knew it went that way because <clears throat> you can see down there. But she ran it that way to see where the sewer went. Lucky for me, it went straight, just like a lot of these old buildings tend to do. Uh, it's all sectioned cast iron pipe. And I dug a hole here a few weeks ago with Wyatt, hoping you know, if I dug the same distance off the wall as it is back there, hoping I would find it. I didn't find anything, so I got a little discouraged. That's why I called Lynn. She put her camera in, and in fact, the sewer pipe was just a little to the left of where I was digging. So we found it, it is right there. And now I need to dig a trench from here, since I'm already down, over to where I want the bathroom to be, just about where that yellow cord is. The plan is to find a starting point, find an end point, uh, reference the plans, uh, draw two parallel lines with spray paint, and then I'm gonna use this concrete saw to cut along the outer parallel lines, and then I'll break up the concrete and then bring a mini excavator in here with a 12 inch bucket. These lines are 16 inches apart, and uh, we'll dig out the concrete, and then the plumber who I talked to this morning, he's gonna come in and actually grade the trench so that uh, poop flows downhill. There's no water in this building yet, so I have access to these big totes. Um, you know, they're offcast from fertilizer companies or whatever, they only kind of use them once. So this one's been professionally cleaned, so there's no fertilizer on the inside anymore. And I took it down to the local fire department and uh, had them fill it with water. Didn't know you could do that. So if you're looking to get a big container or something filled with water, go talk to your local first responders. They're usually pretty nice about it. So I can gravity feed the water from this tank to the water supply for the concrete saw, which will help keep the dust down. So these saws are interesting. It's like this little flop out wheel with a washer on it that I can use to help me guide the cut. I can see over the engine and do that. You crank this wheel down and it lowers the blade into the concrete. And the water, the dust system was a little broken so I hooked the hose from my tank up to here where there's a valve, which is nice. And then I just wired this hose to the side of the blade guard. And I did a little test cut. It seems to be spraying in the right spot. So I should be able to keep my dust down. This thing is loud. I'm gonna put some ear protection in. But man, it hogs through some concrete. So this should, uh, should do what I need it to do pretty quick. That was kind of fun. Those saws make quick work of a lot of work. And it turns because, you know, in plumbing, you either have a 90 or a 45 degree turn. And for sewer, I think it's only 45. So we get a 45 cut this way, and then it'll do another 45 and open up to where everything's gonna be. So now I just gotta chip up this concrete. I ran down to a plumbing supply place near me that I happened to notice earlier today, rents this thing out. Uh, and I got it for 50 bucks a day and the weekend's free. It's Friday. That means if I need it all weekend, I've only paid 50 bucks. It's a pretty sweet deal. It's a big boy. 
Big DeWalt. I got three tips. Probably use that pointy one there. But uh, yeah, hopefully this big hammer will make quick work of uh, this little trench. Enjoy a montage. chipped up. I was going back over some of the stuff. I switched bits. I switched to that wide bit. Going back over some things. I'm gonna get out of here and uh, tomorrow morning, Saturday morning, I'll be getting the uh, Mini X from Dale's place in Benton and bringing it over here and we're gonna have some fun. It's gonna be great. See you then. <sighs> okay, it's Saturday morning, about 8.30 and I was told there'd be an excavator, excavator, here waiting for me. And uh, it's not here yet. It's cold, I haven't had that much coffee. Uh, I was told to be here. So it's a waiting game, but hopefully an excavator shows up soon and uh, I can start playing with it. Well, it happened so suddenly uh, that I forgot to film it, the guy was the guy that dropped this thing off was uh, getting a little frustrated with how the roads in downtown Roanoke were leading him astray and was like, get this thing off of here as soon as, I, as soon as you can and get me out of here. So I said, yes, sir. But needless to say, it's here now. We've got a nice little case mini excavator. Um, unfortunately, the guy that dropped it off did not get the memo about the 12 inch bucket and it has a two foot uh, bucket on it. And uh, now I gotta go to Southeast Roanoke and uh, pick up the small bucket and bring it here before I can use it. I'm back from Southeast. I got the small bucket. And now I gotta take the big bucket off, put the small bucket on. Go draw these two pins out, set it down. Of course, this pin is held in by a bolt, which is a bit seized, so that's gonna be fun. Uh, but we'll take it out, we'll grease the pins when we put them back in, and then uh, hopefully we'll be up in action. There's always like four or five steps when you think there's gonna be one step. Look who it is. Mister, I'm up till one playing the guitar in some yeah. other town. Yeah, pretty much. Morning. Morning. At this point, I think everyone has seen the part of the video where you and I were digging for China. Yeah, yeah. We're looking for a Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> we were six inches off. Mother. Uh, we were there. The sewer line is right there. You see it? Yep. I see it. See, people with tools, yeah. like real tools. She made a point to tell me though that it was a $6,000 camera. Yeah, I believe it. And I was like, that's not what I'm paying for well, the service, we had is it? a $20 show. So. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> 